Thursday afternoon. I just spent the past two to three hours starting this little knitting project. <sighs> just very YOLO freestyling this what's supposed to be a knit top. Didn't do one of those gauge samples. I literally just guessed how many stitches. I'm just like in a way don't have patience and I'm just too lazy to do it. But then I do have patience to knit so it doesn't really make sense. But yeah, it's been very fun and sort of therapeutic and yeah I just basically spent the last two to three hours like reteaching myself how to knit because I've already knit stuff but I completely forgot everything and yeah just figuring out how I'm gonna make this top um so right now I'm just knitting like a ribbing part the inspiration for the top I'm gonna put here yeah I just want to knit something kind of smaller and yeah, I just wanted to remember the basics. I just really wanted to start a knitting or sort of crafty project because I've just been really struggling to spend time off screen because I don't really like know what else to do. Like if I'm not meeting people, like that's one thing I try and do or or I go out, um, then I'm just like at home, like, okay. So I like that this is very like physical and you use your hands and you get a cute like top or whatever you're making afterwards obviously i don't know if this is gonna work out but i'm very excited Okay, I already opened this, but I just wanted to like document this moment. I'm so excited about this. I have not bought a pair of shoes in like, what the, when was the last time I bought a pair of shoes? Well, brand new shoes, I don't know, it's been years. I've gotten like secondhand shoes off of flea markets and then I've just like either found my shoes for free or got them like gifted or as hand-me-downs but I've just not had like a good pair of walking shoes like oftentimes when I would come home in the evening my knees were hurting or my feet yeah so as a birthday present I got to pick out a pair of Salmons um, I'm so freaking thankful it's the best birthday present ever because I'm literally gonna be using it every day and um, yeah basically my friend Leah had some of these and I tried them on and they were so comfy and I've actually been like stocking all like the different Salomon drops throughout the years and like seeing it on my Pinterest and I've always wanted a pair but they are pricey so yeah very excited very thankful <laughs> basically I have settled on these purple ones ah! wait let me just get them in focus Okay, let's try these. I fucking am praying that they fit. It's the ugliest trial ever. Okay. They're so cute. Um, cheers. Um, it's Saturday today and we have an exciting program so it is 10 a.m. I just had breakfast I'm having coffee and I'm now gonna try and post my video in an hour I've uploaded it to YouTube and everything I just need to do thumbnail and description box etc like figuring out a title and then I'm gonna go and meet my friend Javi. He has been on the vlog before and I love him so much. Very sweet human. And he is an incredible photographer um, based in Berlin. And I am gonna go help him at the studio to like set up lighting, do lighting setups. 
And then sad news about my shoes, like <laughs> so about the shoes, I tried them on yesterday and I love the color and everything. Um the thing is, I just feel very unsure about the sizing because I tried it on in the store and I tried on a 38 and two thirds. I don't know what that is in US. Um, but I was like, oh, it feels a little bit tight. And the lovely, lovely sales assistant, she was so nice. Um, she helped me like, she even like tried like feeling like where my toe was and she's like, oh no, it should actually be the size. And um, I was gonna try one size up, but she said like, oh, that's gonna be way too big for you. And so it kind of stuck in my head that like, that is my size. Um, and now I got a bag and I tried it on. And I'm like, okay, it's kind of like tight in the front. And like the shoe is kind of like tight anyway. It kind of like compresses around my foot. But I guess that's because all of my other shoes have never had like good support. Um, but yeah, it's just like touches in the front a little bit when I walk. And I think it will probably expand if I wear it for a longer time. But I'm just curious so I'm going to try to go to a store because I'm already in Mitte and see if I can try the one size up and see if that's how that feels. It would be such a bummer to have to send these back because I literally got like one pair that someone returned because they're all sold out. But yeah, it is what it is. And then in the evening, when a new friend I made, Nele, is hosting this like tea event because she works in tea and there's like a meditation and I have like another friend who's going there so it's gonna be a very nice and like peaceful evening hopefully she has like very chill peaceful tranquil vibes hi friends so <laughs> a lot happened since the last update basically packing was such a stress um and i was literally like running out the door and then my friend javi texted that he's also late and so we just moved the time everything was good and then i was able to like tidy my apartment and everything everything's great and now i'm here but um javi actually forgot something at home so i just set up my little my little workstation and I'm just gonna be editing a little bit until he comes back and yeah I'm at his office it's so pretty and beautiful and light and they have this huge desk here um yeah so that is the vibe And then he brings the picture. Oh, that's so cool. And then exactly you connect it with it, and then you choose the photo. For example, um, give the current selection. So cool. Wow. <laughs> it's like a little sign. So, I'm at Nadia's place now. Um, I'm gonna have some lunch and then I'm gonna rest and do a bit of work. And I'm just so happy. It's such a beautiful, warm, sunny day out. And I was just walking here and I was just like loving Berlin a lot. And yeah, just smiling the whole time. Yeah, this is my outfit. It's so cute. I threw it together really fast. But I wanted to wear a cute top and this was the last one I had and then I just, yeah. It's connected now. 
foundation. It's the only thing I do. And then I saw the line, the lamp in the... Okay, the action is very sick. Whoa. Can you see them? print or whatever, like everything. They lasered underground and then they can 3D yeah. <laughs> because so it was like a month's worth of time. Yeah. Or maybe also a little bit more time. Yeah, which is fine. How do you get to that point? Because I'm also chaotic in my head. Hi friends, welcome back! Late afternoon, it's 5.30pm and I'm just in the park I'm taking a little bit of a break from work and just to stay, it's been kind of overwhelming I spent an hour, two or three also like cleaning my flat because I was just really overwhelmed and like overstimulated in my flat um, Yeah, so now I'm in the park and I just drew a little bit and I'm knitting a little bit because i thought i'd film because this is like a knitting vlog and i don't know if you can still tell but i was working on it yesterday and i saw that it was super uneven yeah i think you can see like this side here on the left is a bit longer and it was way more it was like yeah i've pretty much evened it out now with like random probably not very official ways of knitting but yeah it's gonna be such a cute top i'm excited to yeah just finish it i'm learning so much which is why i'm really happy that i'm working on this like little side piece um yeah so i'm gonna work on that a little bit more it helps me a lot with focus and concentrating so that's going yeah because i was just like sitting on my laptop trying to edit and it was really difficult to such a gorgeous day i need to pee so badly which is why i'm sad because then i need to go home i just really don't like peeing in the park and there's so many people here anyway all the people in the park just have such chill energy and i love it so yeah i'm gonna work on this a little bit i'm gonna knit maybe another row and then i need to go home because i'm gonna pee my pants um yeah It's been a week since I last filmed and I was actually going to work on my sweater this week but somehow, yeah, didn't have enough capacity to start the new project and I thought I would just update you and like, yeah, because it's almost finished. So last time I just had this like long strip that I calculated to like fit around <laughs> me um, then I spent a couple of days just being very confused about how to finish like the top should it be a tube top should it be like a tank top kind of thing so basically I now have 
the front piece and the back piece and I made this like armhole here and then you can just like fold it together sew it together on the sides and you have a tank top type thing I'm just adding a little a couple more rows on the top I feel like it's a bit short Wait, there's like a bug in here. It's bad. Oh my god, it's so gross. Sorry, I really don't like bugs. What else is on the program today? My wonderful friend Victoria is hosting this like expressive art session. I don't even know what to call it. And I'll have some friends there. And it's gonna be like so nice. We're just gonna like make art and paint in the park. Because she is studying, I think, or she's taking a course in art therapy. So I'm really excited to like see what she's been learning and hopefully learn stuff from her. Hello, hello. We're so close to finishing the top. I'm just working like on the, working like on the strap part. I need to get started with the apple tart because it's also gonna need a while to be in the oven and it's gonna need a while to cool down. And the event starts in an hour and a half. Fuck, wait. Fuck, okay, it needs to be, in the, okay. It's gonna be a super close call. <laughs> Shit. This is how far we are with the top. It's literally almost done. So I basically knit the strap here um, and in the back and then I joined them here. Now I'm gonna finish this side as well. I also have some cold apple. Like I put my apple in the fridge for a bit. Then I cut it. Oh, you can't see. With some peanut butter. Can I snack on that? I'm choking on this apple. <laughs> Welcome to the final reveal of the top. <laughs> didn't know how else to film this. So let's go over everything that went well and what didn't go so well. It was super fun to work on and I relearned and learned a lot of skills. I really love the result. It's so cute. I love the style. Um, it's very soft and comfy to wear. And yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah. Um, okay, what didn't go so well? Uh, 
So there are tons of little mistakes and also bigger mistakes on the top like for example when it was super uneven and I used very <laughs> sketchy unofficial ways to like even it out um, and now that I know even more about knitting I am like girl I could have just taken that part off of the needles and knitted that and then joined them again like just stuff like that where yeah kind of winging it but that was also very much the idea with this piece to just start and just make something and then another thing is that it's very see-through which like i love how it looks on top like this kind of stretchy kind of i don't even know like distressed messy see-through vibe but yeah it doesn't give you a lot of coverage i also had to like put some tape down <laughs> the whole project was really fun to work on i learned a lot and I also love this vlog in general. There's so many cute moments and I'm really glad I documented all of this. I think it was really like the perfect transition vlog from spring into summer. Um, yeah, so thanks for it. Um, sticking along with the journey. And I hope maybe this was inspiring to you to maybe start your own knit project. This is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure to subscribe. We are almost at 100,000. We are at 99. Wow, that's so crazy. Um, and also to like, you can also follow my Instagram. I have all the info in the description box. And yeah, I love y'all. Hope you enjoy your summers and see you soon. Bye! <laughs>